Hey, this is TK11697. I'm answering a member question about attaching the faceplate to the hemispheres on the Wall Stripper Factory Inferno helmet. And uh, the answer is pretty easy. You have your faceplate, you have your hemispheres, which are attached by these bits here. You should have four or five of them to keep it in place. Um, and you have the slope on the front. Now, in the regular tie, this goes out and it's squared off, but on the Inferno, it's angled. So you're going to cut across where the angle is, but I'm leaving this bit of material here. I'm not cutting it all the way to the side. I'm leaving just enough material here to put screws in. And there's one screw on either side. It's going to attach to the faceplate and keep it fixed in the top portion. And then I'm going to pull the faceplate forward till it's flush with the ears and sits well, and then put two screws one on each side over here. And these screws are going to get covered up by U-trim, presumably if you're going to finish your helmet that way. And these screws, well, there's no mohawk on, but when you put the trident on, it'll cover these screws up, so you won't see them at all. Um, one additional thing, since I'm doing this video, is going to be about the indentation here. In the Inferno helmet, this part's supposed to be indented. Uh, this is where the Greeblies go, the Nissan Clip Greeblie would go. And what you're going to have to do for this faceplate is uh, line it up here. You're probably going to have to screw it on and then unscrew it to do it right, but you have to line it up here, draw a line across where the where the face where the two hemispheres um, line up. Take the faceplate back off, cut out this area, and back it with some um, some black ABS to give the appearance of an indentation. Um, I can't say for sure, but they're redoing the TIE Pilot CRL, and if you look at screen used TIE Pilot helmets from A New Hope, that's how it is for them too, so that might just be what we have to do normally for all TIE Pilots, including Infernos and Squadrons and Rogue Ones and stuff like that. So um, that's about it. Is that two screws here, keep it in place. There's usually a screw or two under here that you can't see, and that's going to, so maybe you can see it here. That's going to keep the um, piece of plastic strip in place, and uh, you wind up with a pretty rigid helmet that isn't going to, you know, isn't going to fall apart on you. So, all right, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.